Version 7 of Angular does a couple things that focus on performance of Angular apps. Hi, my name is Stephen Fluin, and on this Demos with Angular snippet, I want to walk through the removal of the Reflect Metadata Polyfill. All right, so if we take a look at a application that we scaffolded out using version 6 of Angular, and we jump in the source folder, we're going to see this very nice polyfills.ts file. So this is a very well-documented file that says, hey, if you want to use these browsers, go ahead and import these symbols. And one of the things that we have here is that we have Reflect Metadata, which is required in JIT, um, but you can remove it in AOT. Um, because when you use ahead of time compilation, we don't actually need these things at runtime. And so the intent was for this polyfill to be removed whenever you do a production build. Because we didn't do this automatically, we saw a lot of developers not doing this in production. So as part of the version 7 update, you're actually going to see this polyfill removed and added back at runtime in JIT mode. So let's go ahead and let's take this new version 6 application and let's run ng update at angular slash CLI at angular slash core. And so this is the process that we're going to follow to actually run the version 6 to version 7 update. This should go ahead and identify all of the dependencies that we need, all the peer dependencies, and just get all of the things into the right version. And as you can see, it's also updating our source slash polyfills.ts. So if we look back at that file now, we've now removed that extra polyfill. And now whenever we do a JIT build, that'll automatically be added back in at runtime. Or we can just do an ng build dash dash prod. This will be left out of the build and everything will be just like we want it to be.